Congratulations, Texas State has won the Pac-12 championship. We will definitely add that trophy to our uh, profile. Wins add up. Texas State streak rows on to nine games with a 52-45 victory. Have we done enough? I'm going to advance it. There's no cliffhanger here. We are going to find out. Is the dream season somehow going to happen and Texas State is going to get an invite to the national championship? We're going to find out right now. John McCoy was actually invited to New York for the Heisman. He did not win. The quarterback out of Miami looks like he took that slightly over the quarterback from Ohio State, but getting a few votes, I'll take it. Congrats, John McCoy, for being a finalist. TJ Manning has won the linebacker of the year. Sweet. That's a far cry from what you all uh, wanted to bench him a few years back. Brad Kennery has won returner of the year. Coach Conquest has won coach of the year. Yeah, I could see that happening. Oh, my God, that's a shock. So does that mean what I think it does? Have the Bobcats somehow slid in? Oh my God. Time to settle this. Texas State's Jones has prepared all his life for this one opportunity. This year's national championship is going to be the Notre Dame Fighting Irish of 10 and 2 versus the number two ranked Texas State Bobcats at 12 and one. If you've ever watched the movie Hoosiers, it's about to take place. Number one versus number two, Texas State fans have come in droves to see their Bobcats take home the title. Bobcats won't settle for anything less than the national championship, classic showdown. Make your travel plans for the BCS National Championship, Texas State fans. Oh, my Lord. Here is your final BCS rankings. Notre Dame stays stagnant at 10-2. and two. Texas State with the overtime win at Washington. I guess the committee thought that we deserved to play. I am shocked that Texas A&M did not jump us. Miami, with the big win, Miami probably gave up too many points against FSU. The same could probably be saved for Texas A&M. But then again, you know, we, we gave up a lot of points, but they didn't decide to rearrange it. Somehow, I don't, even, I don't know what to say. I didn't expect this series to ever reach this, this platform. Head coach Brett Conquest from South Carolina has built this team up for five years. Did we think we would be here at this point? No, but somehow destiny and fate have intertwined together and give us an opportunity that we may not see for the coming years. Offensive coordinators Chad Dorsey and defensive coordinator Jesse Broussard have worked on a plan to help go in here and take on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. The last time that Coach Conquest faced the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, they were the th number three team in the country. They finished the season at 11-1, and the result of that game, a 42-14 loss for the Bobcats. Will history repeat itself, or will Coach Conquest finally come away with the dream that all coaches have? If you are not pumped up for this episode and everything that is going to happen here, win, lose, I don't know why you're watching the series. This is what it's all about. The nerves are high. The stakes are high. Lots going on. Before we get to the game, I wanted to take a look at the All-Americans. Texas State leads the nation in the number of All-American players. Obviously, our boy John McCoy, senior is the All-American first team halfback. You go down here, you see some of the other players. TJ Manning, junior middle linebacker, taking first team All-American. 
Troy Cameron and Randy Booth taking the safety positions. Did I think that anybody from our secondary would get here? No, but they are there. And obviously the man, the legend himself, Brad Kennery, is All-American first team as the returner. Looking at the second team, we come down through here and we see that Chuck Denman is the returner second team. There are obviously other bowl games taking place besides Texas State, Notre Dame, and the national championship. We look at the Cotton Bowl. You've got LSU and Oklahoma. Miami versus Georgia in the Orange Bowl. The All-State Sugar Bowl features Texas and Texas A&M. That's going to be a big one. The Battle of Texas definitely on display there. Virginia and West Virginia, another close rivalry here in the Fiesta Bowl. And then the Rose Bowl will default back to Ohio State and USC. Big games on the horizon. I'll scroll through here so you can pause and look at the other ones. Another curious oddity, Alabama versus Louisville in that Music City Bowl. Something that uh, probably wouldn't ever happen. But some good bowl games. But obviously the one that matters to us is the last one. The National Championship. This team has 14 seniors on it. Their last game in a Bobcat uniform is somehow going to be the national championship. So let's get right into it. The national championship game this year features the number one team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, coming in with a 99 overall, 99 offense, and 99 defense. The severe underdog, the number two team, Texas State Bobcats, who snuck into the top two in the last few weeks. 93 overall, a 99 offense. It's running well here the last few weeks. And an 88 defense. Will that gap in the B defense be the difference in this game? Here are your team stats going into it. Notre Dame, independent. 10th in the country in offensive production of points. We are 16th with 36.6. Very close there. Their yards a game, 6th in the nation. They are 20th and 21st in pass and rush offense. We are 12th in pass, which is really well. Our rushing has a lot to be desired. If they could shut down the pass game and make us rely on John McCoy way more, that could be the difference. They have the number one defense in the nation. The number two defense in yard prevention. The number three defense in pass prevention. We have the number one rushing defense. A lot of immovable ob objects. There's a lot of unstoppable forces and immovable objects in this game. Something we'll have to give. All right, so... I just want to take a look at the roster of the juggernaut we are going to be facing in the BCS National Championship. Their number one quarterback is a 95 overall with 85 speed. His agility, 92, 90 acceleration. Jesse Smith, and then if you think that's not enough, they've got another scrambler in the pocket at 91. Um... They're pretty stacked, 88 throw power and 91 throwing accuracy. So Notre Dame uh, is set on the quarterback front. Looking at their running backs, a 97 overall with 96 speed running back. Their second halfback is 90 overall. 77 fullback, not bad. Look at this, three wide receivers at 90 or above. Their slot receiver would be 90. 87 is where they fall off. 92 overall tight end. Their second tight end is 88. 90 left tackle, 84 guard, 93 center, 91, 91. Their entire offensive line, except for the guard, is 90 and up with some backups.
Jump into their defense. They got an 86 left in. The right end is 94. And defensive tackle is 92 with the second DT at 84. Looking at their linebackers, a 93 overall linebacker, 84 middle linebacker. The right outside is 95. So their outside linebackers are in the 90s. Their middle is high 80. Corners, 291s. That's going to be tough to throw over, especially when they got speed of 96, 92, 98 acceleration, 92 awareness. These guys know how to play the ball. Their free safety is 80. So maybe in the middle of the field, there'll be an interesting, but a 90 strong safety to come over. Um, their kicker's 89 to boot. Their punting is their worst player on the team. They are stacked. We may be ranked second in the country, but I think we are way behind Notre Dame when it comes to caliber of players. And even though our starting group is really good, they have the depth that we just don't have. It is a bright, sunny day here. We are here for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, the number one team in the land versus the Texas State Bobcats. A true Hoosiers moment of football here as a small school underdog has a chance at everything. You could see the offensive might of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, and they will come out swinging the day. Can Coach Brett Conquest get his boys riled up? Have the ability to slow down this juggernaut of history. Here come the Bobcats out on the field. DJ Manning ready to play. Matthew Roberson, his last game. The winner of this game will be crowned your BCS NCAA Football 14 Season 5 Champions. Who gets the rings and who goes home alone? Your national championship starts right now. Number two, Texas State will be the away team wearing the whites. Notre Dame will be wearing their colors. We're here at the Rose Bowl for the national championship. Let's go down to the field and get this started. So they've already got a big game skill activated. Like Brad Kennery. Going to bring this one out. Brad Kennery could not turn the corner, and we'll start at the 10. Nerves rocking the country today is Texas State from San Marcos. We'll run a draw play in the first play of John McCoy. And John McCoy tries to stay on his feet, and he will, and that's a big 21-yard rush. And he's over 1,500 for the season. That was a power push there. He ran so hard, he fell forward. Having some words with some of the linebackers of Notre Dame already. First and 10. McCoy will leave the backfield. Quick pass over the middle. Roberson's going to catch that one. And he'll get up, and they're going to give him the first down 10 yards. No, the defense of Notre Dame can keep up with the Bobcats. Quick throw there, and Kennery will make that catch and holds on to it. Another first down, 12 yards, as Brian Jones leads the offense down the field. They're selling another first down. They fake the handoff the screen. And he's going to set, go down the field, and there's Shaw, the tight end, Taylor Shaw with the catch. It was supposed to be a screen play, but it looked like Shaw just broke open down the field, and Brian Jones takes advantage of it. A rare catch from the freshman tight end. He's from Lone Oak, Arkansas, and that's a big one here in the national title game. First and 10. And Jones is going to keep that one. It looked like a busted play or he saw something. The lineman was blitzing. That's four yards. So second and six here with 540 to go in the first quarter. Second down here, six to go. Hand off up the middle. McCoy pushes. He'll get four. Third and two now. Notre Dame comes out in a three, three, five defense. And Thomas is going to jump over the line and he's going to get that first down. So it's going to be first and goal. Bobcats here. And move Kennery. He'll go in motion. And there's the run, and McCoy is going to lean forward, and they're going to give him three yards, but not in there. They said he was down. It's on like the one-inch line. 
So all the big uglies come out here. Second and goal. And they're pushing him. McCoy's in there, and the Texas State will go up here in the championship game. 6 nothing over the Fighting Irish. What a drive down the field. Carter's extra point is good, and in a surprising fashion, David has slung the first rock. Extra point here, or kickoff here, excuse me. A little nervous. Avery will kneel down. Notre Dame will start at the 20. You know they got runners on their team. Their quarterback can scramble. They can throw. They got receivers. Notre Dame is the total package. They're going to run on this first down. And he's going to fight through in nine yards. Tough run by Courtney Jenkins there. They couldn't bring him down. Second and one here. It's a quick throw. Oh my God, and Melton gets lit up by the wide receiver. First down, Notre Dame. And off here, and Benson, a big play by Caleb Benson, the freshman out of Kingwood, Texas. Benson earned the starting spot midway through the season. He's been showing his Prowse ever since. There's a quick throw over the middle, and that's going to be good for a first down. J.D. Carter was on the coverage. Palmer, 15 yards, first down, Notre Dame. Plenty of time. The quarterback's going to go, and he's going to slide. He knew J.D. Carter was on the run. Six-yard gain on that. Negative four now. Plenty of time to throw. Cameron trying to wrestle him down, and that tight end's got about a foot over him, and that's good for a 15 yards and a first down. Boy, Cameron really underweight when it comes to him. He looks good, Lord. For defense here, 3-3-5 three, three, looks like for the Bobcats. And that's wide open. Fritz was out there in the coverage, and Fritz will not bring him down, and that is a touchdown dart. Justin Berry into the end zone, and Notre Dame responds here with 2.41 to go in the first quarter. I don't know why Anthony Nichols there just backed off. We had two corners out there. We knew both teams were going to score today. Now we're all evened up. off here. Kennery going to get this one. He'll bring it out. Kennery looking for a gap. Kennery still on his feet. Kennery ran into his own man. 26 yards. And Brian Jones come out and Kennery slow to get up. Jones calling it out. Shaw will go into motion. The handoff on the side. McCoy tries to turn the corner. He'll get two. Door slams shut. Very quick. Dinner wasn't ready. Second and eight now. Second and eight. Good throw, and Brown's going to catch that one. Daryl Brown, 17 yards. What a route there. Brian Jones puts it on the inside shoulder. Kept the linebacker out of the play. First down. Like a draw play. McCoy. McCoy going to lose two on that one. The line collapses onto him. Second and 12 here. Oh, and that's miscommunication. Uh? And Sean Burnett catches it off the tip. What an amazing awareness play. The ball. He ran the wrong route, and it comes off the defender, and Burnett catches it before it hits the ground. Holy cow. They sometimes you're lucky. So first down here, they fake the handoff. There's a wide open man. There's Brown again, and Brown going to push through. And that is 14 yards and another first down for the Bobcats. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. 
Throw over the middle. There's Brown again. Brown pushing Brown, and he's down right before the goal line. It's going to be first and goal. And Brian Jones has set the season school passing record of yardage, surpassing the great Justin Horn. Congrats to him. He'd like to top it off with a championship. Go here. Hand off, and Thomas met, and that's going to be a loss of three. They're going to go here. Play action. He's wide open, and Lee, and Lee couldn't turn the corner, the big man, and it's going to be third and goal. Third and goal here. Quarters running down. They're going to let it run out. Into the first quarter, it is 7-7. Seven, seven. What a national championship game so far. Bobcats on the goal line. Turn and goal here. Fake the handoff. And he's going to throw that, and it's picked off in the end zone. And they'll kneel down. And a wasted opportunity for the Bobcats. We go out first and 10. Three to the right for the Fighting Irish. Oh my God, I don't know how that play worked, but it did, and it's going to be second and inches. Collapsing pocket and everything. Second and inches here. And they go after the quarterback. Oh, and he pushes him down, and he's got a big run here as Randy Booth will finally drag him down after 24 yards. QB spy did not matter on that one. And we're going to get him this time. Maybe we're not. Finally, Fritz. It looked like some help from Randy Booth will drag him down in the three-yard gain still. Second and seven. Notre Dame really pushing the moment. And that's going to be brought down. A loss of a yard on the quarterback keeper. It looked like a broken option play. Notre Dame puts the tight end in motion. We've got time to throw here. They're going deep. And Melton overplays it. And that's going to be a first down and first and goal. I don't know where he was running. He was going to the locker room. First and goal now. Notre Dame trying to take control of this game. 538 till halftime. Quarterback's gonna run it in himself. What are you all doing? What are you doing? Oh my god, we had a lineman chasing, and then the corner just sat there and watched him. And Notre Dame's quarterback Smith will go in and give the fighting Irish the six-point lead. Look at that. Two guys there that should have broke down on him, and they just watch him trot in for six. Extra point is good, and Notre Dame takes control here in the title game. Kick off here. Brad Kennery going to get this one deep. Look for some blocks. And Brad Kennery will spin. He's past the 20, near the 25. First and 10 here. Nice throw, Kennery on the reception. 10 yards, they do not give him the first down. 5.20 till half. Coach Conquest, reaching into the playbook here. And that's gonna be an open blitz and Jones will go down for a loss of eight. Chad Dorsey, the offensive coordinator, is gonna have to put something together to block that. Coach Conquest over there on the sideline, ripping him up. And it's gonna be third and eight. And a very important third down. You don't want the game to flip. Calling it out who they think is getting the ball. And they are totally right. Johnny Walker, 87, was getting the ball. And it's a first down. Johnny Walker just, they were blitzing that uh, the coverage on him. Left him wide open. But they said it right before the snap. 87 getting the ball. Shaw will go in motion. McCoy gets the handoff here. Good block. And McCoy's got a lot of daylight. McCoy across. McCoy down. 
And he's still up, technically. And he's going to be down at the 32, 26-yard rush from John McCoy. That makes it first and 10. He finished fourth in the Heisman race this year. A great accolade to go on to his resume and on the Texas State. And he's setting them up to try to tie this game up here with 412 to go in the half. First and 10. Quick dump to Kenry. Oh, and Kenry takes a hard hit, but that is good for seven yards. Nice little throw there. It just gave him a lot of cushion. Defense did collapse quickly, though. Second and three, Thomas and McCoy in the backfield. And McCoy is met in the backfield, and he'll lose a yard, so it's going to be third and five. Third and five here. And they go for the screen to Thomas, and Thomas gets a nice block. Thomas gets another block. Thomas has it wide open, and Thomas is in the end zone. Tie game, bearing the extra point. The screen pass ran to perfection, and Darren Thomas gets all the blocks he needed. Great catch, turns up field. Bobby Norton with the block there. Look like Ricky Jacobs, the senior. A block there, and he's in for six. Extra point is good. Aaron Thomas excited. David Carter launches this one. It may be brought out. Avery's going to nail it. So three minutes to go. Notre Dame does get the ball after half. A chance for two straight possessions. Quick throw again, and oh, and it's knocked out. I think, no, he caught it. Randy Booth could not shake it loose. Five-yard gain. Oh, and a blitz comes on the outside, and that's Randy Booth, and they get Smith for four yards. It's going to be third and long. These kids from Texas State may be smaller, but they are quick. And they're going to get to him again. He barely throws it. It should be intentional grounding, but there's no flag, and it's a fourth down. Texas State, a chance here. The defense holds. Henry back to get this one. Henry. Kennery trying to turn to the edge. Kennery around. He'll get tripped up. He'll only get 11. They're near midfield. 213. Two minute drill in effect here. Down. And there's a throw. And Daryl Brown going to catch that. And that's good for a first down and to move the sticks. Texas State comes out, two minutes to go, a chance to take the lead here in the national title. McCoy will go up the gut, three yards, under two minutes to go now. And that's Johnny Walker, and Johnny Walker's open on the outside, and that is a big gain by him, 20 yards. And Texas State is near the red zone. Brian Jones just slipped that in there. Right between the coverage, Johnny Walker wraps that ball up and protects it. First and 10 here, minute 20 to go. McCoy will move in motion. They give it to the speedster, Thomas. He's hit initially and he'll get knocked back three yards. Minute 13 remaining in the half. Get down, fake the handoff. And Jones is hit a couple times, and finally, Jones, I don't know what happened. They just kept rolling and hitting his legs. Third and seven. Jones throws, and Brown, oh, he drops it. And with 47 seconds left, maybe a field goal here. That's exactly what they're going to do. Carter comes out. The field goal Ooh. is off the upright and no good. no good. He just didn't put enough curve on it. And it doinks off the right up post. 
Come out and spread the field. Two receivers on each side. Looks like a dime package from Texas State here. It looks like a screen. And Randy Booth comes up and lays the meat to Courtney Jenkins' three-yard gain. Clock running, 33 seconds left. Keep it spread. We'll see if Notre Dame is content to go in. It tied at half. They do get the ball. See what they're going to do here, letting the clock run down. Audible's coming in from the quarterback. We'll snap it with two seconds to go. Quarterback's running. And Melton will finally get him and drag him down. He'll get nine yards in the first, but it matters not. We go to halftime here at the national championship. Number one, Notre Dame 14. Number two, Texas State 14. We've got a game in store for us. Halftime adjustments will be the key. And here we go. The second and determining half. The score might as well read zero to zero. The kickoff to the Fighting Irish. They're going to kneel down. We'll see what head coach Brett Conquest and Dorsey and Broussard have come up with on the offensive and defensive side of the ball here in the third. Two receivers go to the right for the Fighting Irish. One to the left. They got pressure. Eight-yard gain, though. The pass complete. Coverage was there. Good throw. Second and two. And Benson's right there, and they're going to wrap him up for a no gain there. He got back to the line of scrimmage, so third and two. And the quarterback's going to keep it, and he's going to get the first down and then some. And that's a big game to midfield, 17 yards for Smith. Wrong defense was sent on on that last play. That is totally user error. Oh, and we come in and blitz him there. And that is a six-yard sack. Morris, his first sack of the day, and it's a big one. Second and 16 now. He did the role of Randy Booth on that play. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. They snap it really quick there. They're going to get a couple of yards, so it's third and long still. They're right back to midfield. And there's an injury on the play. The halfback for Notre Dame is down in rinsing and pain. Third and 12. Back up halfback Joseph comes in. Line is collapsing, and they're going to get to him. Darius Fields, the senior, will sack him for seven and force the fourth down. Great coverage out there by the Bobcat defense. The defensive coordinator, Jesse Bersard, is going crazy right now. You love to see the senior make a big play. Halfback for Notre Dame had a strained pictorial. He will be back. Kennery. Kennery looking for some blocks. Does not get it. And Kennery will go down only about six yards on that return, if that. First and 10 here. Hand off. McCoy. McCoy over top of somebody. McCoy gets up to the line. We'll get three, it looks like. Threw off the first tackle, and then he just kind of ran into his own lineman. Love the fact that McCoy is throwing his jaws around every time. And there's a wide open Burnett on the sideline, and he's going to get 25 yards as they cut him across. He just left the corner there. The corner was playing zone, I think. And Burnett, the safety, had no chance to get to him before the throw. Brian Jones just too quick out of the pocket. First to 10 here, 415 left. Oh, they get there quick, and he's going to have to dump that. And McCoy, McCoy gets knocked down, and it's going to be a yard loss. The blitz was coming there, and they just couldn't get the screen pass developed. By the time McCoy got it, the secondary was already collapsing on him. Taking an 11 here. And there's a nice pass, and there's Johnny Walker again. Johnny Walker takes a hard hit, but he will get the 20 yards on that, and he's up to 56 today. And the Bobcats are marching down the field here in the championship. Right 
First and 10. Counter play. Good run there. Thomas. Thomas just couldn't squeeze through. He'll get three, though. Notre Dame really good at pushing the line. They go trips to the right. Roberson, Brown, Kennery, Burnett out there all alone. Thomas in the backfield. It's a draw to Thomas. Thomas getting some blocks. Thomas across the first down mark, and that's eight yards and a first down for the Bobcats. First and 10. Another run play. Lots of blocks. McCoy. McCoy will drop his head and just go through. And that may be good enough for the first down. If they are. They're moving the chains. Which Conquest opting to come out here, be slow, methodical with this. It is an end of round, and McCoy will push up. He'll get three more. Three yard chips count just as well as the big ones. Three to the right, Burnett all alone again. It's a handoff. Thomas, Thomas tries to push somebody, and he'll get four, so third and three now. This is important. Got, is, are they running like a two defense? And Thomas is not going to get up there. They just collapsed down on us like an umbrella. Chip shot field goal here. We really need Carter to come through. And he does. And Texas State, with a minute 13 left in the third quarter, will take the lead here in the title game. The number two team on top. You are nervous, Nancy. That is fine. That is expected right now. Short kick here. And they'll step push him out of bounds. Avery, just a tough runner there. Lots of yards today. 17 first downs by the Bobcats. Matches the points they have. Notre Dame has struck quickly. First and 10. They're going to run it. Oh, good block there. Oh, God, he's going to get way through. And he was through the multiple layers, and they're already up the midfield. Just some bad tackling by the defense. We're back plenty of time. Oh, and he'll drop that pass. Had a nice slant route and drops it. So 59 seconds left in the third. Running a zone coverage here. It's very dangerous. They're going to hand it off. Oh, big hit there by Randy Booth on Courtney Jenkins, but five-yard gain. And it's third and five now. Trips to the left there, bunched up. And he's going to have to run, and they're going to bring him down. The Bobcats sack him for a loss of five. That was Sean Young, the senior out of Killian, Texas. The pocket just collapsed, and he had a host of Bobcats. The pack was on the prowl. Chance here. Texas State gets the ball to come down, waste a lot of clock, maybe increase their lead. They're going to punt it out of bounds. It's going to go out near the 10. A great punt there. We'll probably have one play before the end of the third quarter. One on the outside edge. McCoy, McCoy needed one more block. McCoy, he's going to get eight. And that will take us to the fourth quarter. 17-14, my lord. Do you believe in miracles? One quarter remains. David is slaying Goliath by three right now. Notre Dame 14, Texas State 17. Will the dream stay alive? Or the Notre Dame defense wake up? Found an ace package, it looks like. A toss on the outside, getting the block. McCoy gets the block. McCoy's got a lot of daylight. McCoy, McCoy pushed out of bounds near midfield, and that is 31 yards on the rush. McCoy's so used to going up the gut. They do a toss play. It totally throws the Notre Dame defense off their keisters and a big run. And McCoy's going to go over there and get some oxygen. McCoy is still back there. They're going to put McCoy in motion. 
And Jones going really deep in. Oh, did he catch it? Was he in? And they're saying he was in. Roberson with an amazing catch gets the foot down. Oh my God, what a throw, what a play. And the Bobcats are in business. They didn't even review that. First and 10, 6.30 to go in the championship. Big blocks, McCoy, he's on up there. Six more yards. 118 yards on the day. He's putting the team on his back. Brian Jones also there, carrying the team. Handoff here. McCoy, he's hitting the backfield. He's got to be getting tired. Third down now and seven. Did seven here, super important. They're gonna do the little dump pass. Chuck Denman, and Chuck Denman's gonna get the first down. This could be big here, first and goal. Can make it a two score game. Brown goes in motion. And Jones is gonna keep it for some reason. He didn't hand it off. And that's a three yard loss. I think that was a busted play. But we go second and goal now. I thought I had drawn up the right one. He's looking for blocks. He's looking for blocks. McCoy. It's third and goal. So close. Third down. They bunch up the middle. You know they're going to try to pop it in here. And McCoy is knocked back. He's not going to get it. It's fourth and goal. What do you do here? A field goal makes it six. Coach Conquest opts to take the field goal. 4-12 left in the title game. Notre Dame's gonna have the ball here. Sun starts to set here, so does the season. And for one of these teams, the dream will begin. And for the other, it will end. Kennery tries to wrap him up. Kennery will trip him up just enough. 21st downs, 20 points for the Bobcats. Notre Dame, 200, half the yards, half the plays. First and 10 here. This is, oh, and false start on Notre Dame. The nerves coming out here. Empty backfield. You wonder if the quarterback's going to take over here. And they're going to get to him. Oh, and that's knocked down by Nichols. Pressure from Benson and then Anthony Nichols with a deflection. Second down. Texas State's defense has been immaculate today. Holding this top-ranked Notre Dame team to 14 points. The offense has kept the ball. There's a run there. And he's going to be brought down for no gain third and long. This is important. Fighting Irish fans. And they're going to leave him open, and they're going to hit him, and there's not going to be any room, and that's a two-yard loss on the screen. Fourth at 17, 338 left in the game. Texas State trying to hold on. Fourth and 17, they're going to punt it. They're trusting in their defense. Oh, Evans was through, but he tripped. Henry, gonna get this, bring it back. Great, oh, good God. And he's gonna be right at midfield. The Bobcats on the verge of greatness here. Six points up, 313 to go. First and 10, 313 here in the national championship, Thomas. Going to start off with the run. Three yards. Exist day going very slowly here. Utilizing all the clock they can. It's a draw play, and McCoy runs into a wall. Third and nine. They can get the clock below two minutes. Notre Dame calls a timeout here. Third and nine, 216 after the timeout. 
and they cover the screen and McCoy's brought down and they'll use another timeout. Fourth and 12. Notre Dame will have the ball back with two minutes or so to go. That guy covered that screen perfectly. He didn't even do what they normally do. He just ran with him. Higgins back the punt. Down the field. Out of bounds. Maybe near the 20, 24. I think they said 16 yard line, 207. First and 10, two receivers split out both sides. It's another screen. Booth will come up and hit him. And they'll get the first down, 11 yards. Two minutes to go. They move the chains. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nichols, oh, he was there. Six yard pass, they get out of bounds. A minute 57. Six point game here in the national title. More defensive backs out there. Second down, four yards to go. Fighting Irish, playing for a national title here. And third and one. The clock is running. They're gonna have to rush up to the line. And they bring the house, but they get it through. And that is a first down. The quarterback scrambles a minute 37 to go. First to 10 here, a minute 33 to go in the title game. Notre Dame pushing down the field. Fritz was out there on the coverage and he'll pull him out of bounds, three yard gain. Second down, seven to go, a minute 26. Notre Dame has one timeout left. Second and seven. They hand the ball up the middle. And that is good for a first down. First and 10 here. Plenty of time. Manning's out there and Manning, and it's a fumble! Get the ball! Oh, and they're gonna get on it. Manning hit the quarterback and knocked it loose. That could have been the game right there, but Notre Dame recovers with a minute 12 left. Second down, 12 to go. Notre Dame still alive. Four receivers to the right, empty backfield. Benson was there, and they're going to get out of bounds. Third and seven. And they're going to do the screen, and there's Manning out there. He needs some help, and Young will come up and pull him down. Fourth down, 40 seconds to go in the game. The national title's on the line here. They run back up. This is for the title, right here. Throw! And it's incomplete! No call! No! Pass interference. Defense. No! Notre Dame! Still first. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Coach Conquest is beside himself. Notre Dame with 27 seconds left gets a first down. Coach Conquest is going to call a timeout to calm the boys. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. I don't know about that one. 27 seconds left in the game. Vincent's going to get through. It's a force throw. And it's no game. The clock is running. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds. Notre Dame has got to hurry to the line. They've got to get something going or they've got to snap the ball. 13 seconds, 12 seconds, they do. 12 seconds left, it's third down and 10. Six point game. Two to both sides, third down. They're trying to get to him, they're going in zone and it's knocked down. Six seconds left and this is it. The national title game comes down to one play. Do you believe in it? You've got to believe now. Three go to the left. Last play. Can David slay Goliath? Six point lead. Final throw. They're going deep. And it's picked off. Anthony Morris picks it off in the end zone. Texas State's going to win the national championship. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
That is your game. Texas State comes out. They're going to win by six. Oh, my Lord, Brian Jones is going to kneel, and that's the game. Texas State, Coach Conquest, Brett Conquest has done it. David has slain Goliath here in the most exciting game I have ever witnessed. Confetti rings out. The small team from San Marcos has done it somehow, some way. They have believed and come and knocked off the number one team in the land, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Oh my God, I gotta catch my breath. I see stars. I see rain. I see confetti. I see a championship trophy. Texas State is your NCAA champions. I am in shock. I am in shock and so is Notre Dame. They expected the win, but instead they go home the runners up. Brian Jones is your player of the game. And here we go, your champions, the Texas State Bobcats. Oh my Lord, have you ever seen a prettier moment? Put it in the newspapers, they're coming back to Texas as champions. Final score here in the championship. Number one, Notre Dame, 14. Number two, Texas State Bobcats, 20. Your new national champions. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Oh my Lord. Texas State has done it. I have honestly not won a championship on this game since probably, it's probably been over 20 years. Granted, I've not played it that much, but my God, did I ever dream that it would happen in that fashion? No, I did not. Your player of the game, Brian Jones, probably going to go pro after that one. 205.4 rating, 20 for 23. Talk about somebody who took a lot of slack as the year went on. He buckled down in those last three or four games and just was very efficient. He did have one interception today in the end zone. 309 yards, but one touchdown. 86% completion. John McCoy was probably your close runner up for the player of the game. 19 rushes for 118 yards. He did have a touchdown. We ran his legs off today. And I'm sure he's going to look back and not care one bit. The senior goes out a national champion. Dallas, Texas going to put a statue up on him. Darren Thomas also playing good minutes, eight attempts for 20 yards. He was in there. Uh, he gave McCoy the breath he needed, and we just kept the game going. Receiving, look at this. Talk about spreading the ball out. Daryl Brown, four for 64. Johnny Walker, three for 56. Brad Kennery, three for 29. McCoy, the screen pass is caught up with him there, but it didn't matter. Sean Burnett, two for 46. That one changed the tone of the game early on. The deflection, the defender dropped it, and Burnett luckily dove and got it. Roberson, the senior as well. He, uh, he and Kennery go out as champions. Uh, Denman, Lee, Thomas, and Shaw. Shaw, the big pass early in the game. That's his highlight of his season. There's never any blocking stats, but there should be. They only give up one sack today and gave Brian Jones plenty of time. Our linemen, three of them are graduating. Amazing, amazing performance the last few games. Defensively, Randy Booth, nine solo tackles. The senior lives up to his name as a hard hitter. One sack today. He had a deflection. TJ Manning, your linebacker of the year. Seven solo tackles, a tackle for a loss. J.D. Carter, the same. Oh, my God, J.D. Carter's leaving us. Five solo tackles. Sean Young, he had a sack today. Darius Fields with a sack. Just four sacks. Randy Booth had the other one. And Anthony Morris playing balls to the wall today. Uh, him and Nichols getting great minutes out there. Uh, the interception by Troy Cameron early on. Who caused the one fumble? TJ Manning. That's what I thought. David Carter, he did miss the one field goal. Made me a little nervous, but he hit the other two. Two extra points. 
Amazing job today for him. His leg gave us points we needed. Fred Pickens, that one punt, he put it in there 37 yards and tucked them, and it just worked out for us. Kick return, Brad Kennery, three for 66 yards. It's sad we're never going to see Kennery from Waxahachie, Texas, come out there and run one back for us, but my Lord, did he do enough. Did he do enough for this program? Kennery, 22 yards as well on the punt return. Just looking at some of the post-game stats, just going to soak it all in. 20 first downs for Texas State. We moved the ball all day. Such an even game. Field goals were the difference in the third and fourth quarter. We had 129 rushing yards. Most of that, John McCoy, 309 passing yards. We, Our secondary, I ragged on the defense all season, but it paid off today. Players of the game, their quarterback and our quarterback, and then Randy Booth, nine tackles, a loss. A ta My Lord. We will definitely add the BCS National Championship to our profile. Big time bowl win. Bobcats pull out a close BCS National Championship victory over Notre Dame. The AD, we've not checked on him for a little bit. Good coaching has led your team to a BCS National Championship victory. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Let's settle this. Okay, they've not updated that, but we are your national champions. We have finished the season at 13-1. and one. I don't know if we'll ever top that or if we do. I cannot believe that we won that game in that fashion. I am... I, I cannot believe it. Davis truly has slain Goliath. The Rock this time, two field goals in the third and fourth quarter. I guess with that said, we're going to end the episode. I'll do the offseason at some point, but I've got to go bask in the glory of this. I in no way shape or thought thought we would be here now and i'm a loss for words and i don't know what to go or do or say or anything at this moment i'm gonna have to go back and reflect texas state is your bcs national champions knocking off the number one team in the land the notre dame fighting irish 20 to 14. If you don't hit a like button for this video, I don't know what to tell you all. I hope you all enjoyed the trip. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. I'll see you in the off season. Good night, everybody.